we'll get to the second part where we have NA10 hosted. And now let us set up an owner account. For this, provide the details, your email, first and last name, password, after which we should be able to log in. You want, you can save it. And after that, provide some details about your company, about the software as a service. So just provide some any information. And you could get a free license key as well once you have set up. Now, this is how the NA10 dashboard will look like. And now let us go to the next step by creating the workflow. Workflow is a collection of nodes connected together to automate a process. You build workflows on the workflow canvas. For creating a workflow, we can create this create workflow button. Uh, this is where you see you could click on the plus and you have the options workflow credential. And only if you're enterprise, you will need to have a purchased account. But since this is free, you can click create workflow. This is the first step that you will see as part of the workflow. Now here, there are a bunch of templates that you could look to start using. To summarize YouTube, then immediately get the rid of a page from user request using OpenAI structured output. Let's try this template. It's for free. And port, you need to have an OpenAI credential. Enjoy your API key. Organization ID is optional. Base URL. Click Save. Connection tested successfully. This is all works with API key is proper. Click continue. There's a web hook. Right, the workflow is an experiment to build HTML pages from a user input using the structured output from OpenAI. The structure, the output could be used in a variety of cases. Especially essentially it guarantees the output from the GPT. Once active, go to production URL to set it up. And then you have an HTML query. You have OpenAI JSON and format and respond to webhook. So let's see if this works. So now let's execute the workflow and see. For this, you can double click as well. This one, and you will see this is the URL you need to send a get request for the event. And I I did test it out. This is the output. Click this and open a new tab. Okay, so we need to first listen for a test event. So once I listen, you copy it and it will give a message. Your node executed successfully. Let me send another request. So you see, it got the event and let me zoom in. And now it called the, it called the dev hook, open AI structured output. And open AI in JSON message model is provided. And the output is produced. If you want, we can double take each one of them. These are the executions. So let's try running the other test on Postman. Okay, so now in Postman, let's copy the URL and let me send a request. It's a very simple workflow. So now in Postpan, come back and send a request. This is the response that we got from the workflow. So this is the output you saw in Postman. You could have the evaluations. You could do the executions. You could see the data. In next video, we will go a little deeper and create our own workflow. So thank you for liking, subscribing. Please sh share this tutorial to others as well who will benefit from using NA10 workflows. Thank you. Have a good day.